Hello mga friendships, welcome back to our vlog and welcome back to Barcelona. And for today's vlog, we are going to take you to Sagrada Familia finally. So, if you're looking for a stunning site to take in in Barcelona, Sagrada Familia is the place to go. With its 18th century architecture and beautiful grounds, it's no wonder this religious complex has become one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city. But what you might not know is that there are a lot of secrets to Sagrada Familia that you may not have heard about. So today I am going to tell you about these secrets as we walk you along outside and inside Sagrada Familia. So come on, walk with us. Fact number one, mga friendships. Sagrada Familia has been under construction for over a century. It may come as a surprise, but it is among some of the oldest buildings in the world to be still under construction. The construction of Sagrada Familia started in 1882. The architect Gaudi had designed such magnificent structure, but it was evident that he would die before it was finished. Currently, builders are expecting to complete the construction of Sagrada Familia in 2026. Fact number two, mga friendships. Gaudi, the original architect of Sagrada Familia, was buried inside Sagrada Familia. Anthony Gaudi was the mastermind behind this project and just a few days after he was hit by a tram, he passed away. They buried his body on the underground level in a tomb and visitors from any part of the world can see it whenever they visit. Gaudi's tomb is healed in the chapel dedicated to the El Carmen Virgin. Fact number three, mga friendships, it's a man-made masterpiece that is inspired by nature. Anthony Gaudi drew his inspiration from nature when constructing this structure. It is quite contradictory because the majority of cathedral buildings have straight designs. He skillfully des designed the structure from what he saw in nature. Another fact, mga friendships, is the interior pillars resemble trees, and when looking up, the shapes of the pillars changes as do those of the trees. Gaudi designed images of a turtle, tortoise on these pillars to represent the water and earth.
this is the most interesting fact of friendship. The builders of the Sagrada Familia are immortalized in stone. To honor all those who worked tirelessly in building Sagrada Familia, they had to embed the faces of the builders within the stone of the building. So if you will look closely at the human structures or the statue uh, among uh, within the building or in the walls, you know, and all that, you can actually see that the faces of the human structures resembles, you know, like a real human being, like a person. So apparently, those are the faces of the builders who helped to build Sagrada Familia. And another fact is, Sagrada Familia used to be the site of a school. So in the early construction years of the structure, Gaudi built a school called Sagrada Familia Schools Building. The school was for the construction workers' children. Designed in 1909, currently the school is an exhibition of the Sagrada Familia. In 1909, Anthony Gaudi had the schools constructed using a traditional method, the Catalan vote, to get the curved surfaces that characterize them and evoke the shapes found in nature, the architect's main source of inspiration. In 2002, a building was moved and rebuilt in its current location in order to continue the construction to on the Sagrada Familia. This classroom is intended for the children of the workers to, to learn. Sagrada Familia is full of friendships. This is the museum. So, mga friendships, this is the Sagrada Familia's museum. So, this is where the plaster models of the building is found. So Gaudi used modeling techniques to create most of the sculptures. He chose a person or animal, uh, made a plaster model, and then a larger version to make any necessary corrections before doing the final version in stone. So, mga friendships, in here is an oil painting. The artist painted this piece of Saint Pope John Paul II visiting Barcelona on the 7th of November 1982. It was owned, or this painting was owned by Cardinal Eduardo Martinez Somalo from, uh, well, 1927. He was born in 1927 and he died on 2021. And the Vice Secretary of State for the Vatican from 1979 to 1988. So again, this is a Miguel Angel Garcia Fernandez. Um, this is the painter. 
and he painted uh, Pope John Paul II with the city of Barcelona in the background in 1983. So, mga friendships, on the 7th of November 2010 was one of the most important days in the history of the temple. The date, the basilica was consecrated as a Catholic place of worship. Upon completion of the inside of the building, more than 6,000 people witnessed the solemn ceremony in which Pope Benedict XVI granted the temple the status of a minor basilica. Did you know, mga friendship, that Sagrada Familia is the tallest religious building in Europe? One outstanding feature of the structure is its height. He designed, well, Gaudi designed the central tower to be approximately 170 meters. He believed that nothing made by man should be taller than God's creation. So for this reason, it is one meter shorter than the mountain of Barcelona, Mont Juic. And of course, it's a refueling time na mga friendships kasi hindi na happy itong mga kasama ko, yung mga boys. They are tired and hungry na daw. So there you go. I hope you like it, mga friendships. Um, see you next time. Bye! Barcelona never sleeps at night.